Hey, hey gang, it's Sebastian back with another video for you today. I've got Megan here from Atelier des Ors, and we're going to preview some of their current fragrances, the Riviera collection, right? Yes, that's great. And we have a sample set to give away of all three of the fragrances to one subscriber of the channel from where? Worldwide? Worldwide. Worldwide. That's good. So if you want to hear from Megan and I about the Riviera collection here in Cannes in the Riviera, the French Riviera, then please stay tuned. So I've got Megan here with me from Atelier des Ors in Cannes. So tell me a little bit about the show. What's going on here? Okay, so over the road, which you can't see, the Palais in Cannes, each year there is a tax-free exhibition. And so it's a show, an event show, that showcases everything that's sold in duty-free stores. So that could be alcohol, um, technology equipment. Even cigars. Cigars. Fragrance. So what happens for the smaller brands, smaller fragrance niche brands, is we want to come here as well because it's a great opportunity to meet with um, all of our partners, our distributors, etc. And what we do is we actually buddy up with other similar brands to us. So that way we can hire a space, we can all come together, we can share contacts and generally um, work really well together. And it's a really nice way to for people to, when they come in, to see multiple um, fragrance brands. Okay. And then when Sebastian comes in as well, it's a great opportunity for him to be able to meet yeah. in one space multiple people rather than... Because in Cannes, what happens is people are all over Cannes, so, it's so you actually out. get quite um, caught in traffic or stuck, and then you're running really. You late. run into people, yeah. Aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, are you launching anything currently, or? Well, at the moment, um, this year, you met us at Essence. Yes. In Milan, and we introduced a Riviera collection. Oh so, yes, we're in the Riviera now. And we are in the French Riviera in Cannes, and. The perfumes are inspired by this region. So it's very see. well known for its um, beautiful Mediterranean Sea. It is quite stunning. Mm -hmm. And as it fades out to the horizon, the color of the blue changes. So we wanted to be able to represent that feel and that look with the bottle. So we've got a shading going on. I'm not sure if you can quite see it on the oh, video, yeah. but hopefully you can. Yeah. And um, we introduced three perfumes to really bring the Riviera experience to life. Cool. So they are, I suppose they're a bit lighter and fresher than the Black Collection, yep, for instance. Definitely. Which is much more, uh, they're darker, they have a heavier sillage, um, they're very strong. These ones have a, are a little bit more light-hearted in temperament. They're fresh, refreshing, I think. made for people that live in the warmer climate, like the Riviera here, the French Riviera. Yes, they definitely. So this one, Riviera Drive, this is very evocative of the outdoors. We imagined actually a drive along the Corniche Road. Say if you go from Monaco is, you can drive along through to Nice and just all the way along the coast. It's a high road. And in summer, it's very, very hot here. So we wanted to um, portray the hot air, the amazing scent of the pan parasol. You know, the, the, the beautiful trees, they have a huge umbrella-like um, canopy. Mm -hmm. And the scent is amazing when the, the needles drop to the ground. And in summer, it's a very, very evocative smell. And yeah. for me, this is a very, very typical south of France scent mm -hmm. and we wanted to encapsulate that and also the drive on that Corniche Road the film Alfred Hitchcock film To Catch a Thief Love starring that film. Harry Grant yeah. and uh, Grace Kelly Grace Kelly is has an amazing scene where you get that view out to the sea as well amazing yeah and that really inspired the perfume awesome as well that's awesome Riviera Drive cool and we have Pomelo Riviera so this pomelo is a grapefruit. Mm -hmm. So this juicy. one is very juicy, very, very nice grapefruit at the beginning. It's very effervescent. It's, yeah, it's really uplifting, light, radiant, fresh. And we wanted to imagine um, maybe you're at your French villa, mm -hmm. looks out to the sea, then you maybe walk into the garden 
because there are in this perfume there's also there's a bit of a salt accord plus there's also the some florals so there is rose and jasmine so we wanted to we sort of imagine you could be walking in the garden relaxing it's all very much about this collection is really it's sort of hedonistic in a way because a lot of it we wanted to bring in you know that really relaxing you know lifestyle where it's all about enjoyment yep and bring back some of that vintage absolutely glamour yeah of the era in the french riviera yeah you like it here oh Tony i love it here Sebastian. he loves it here. i do <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool here yeah if you guys have been following my instagram my non-perfume account you can see some of the photos i've been taking in this region stunning stuff yeah and sebastian is a big traveler as you probably all know if you follow sebastian He's always, um, you're always seeing new things. I always love to come to France. Yeah. My favorite. I think you said it's your favorite. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely my favorite. Okay. I mean, there's Italy and then there's France. <laughs> Italy is amazing too. Yeah. yeah. But as we have French brand, French, France is very good, of course. <laughs> True. <laughs> so this one is called Riviera Lazuli. And this is much more... Um, a bit aquatic it's more about imagine a day on one of those old wooden boats maybe it's a reva and you are out on the deck you can smell the the wood from the deck you can take a dip into the ocean you plunge into the water yeah you come back you're sunning yourself on the deck um yeah it's very sunny it's actually it's a bit spicy too there's a t tiny touch of immortal in here too mm, okay. to bring out the woodiness and the spiciness to bring out the woodiness more really yeah so this one is quite refreshing but in a very different way to the pomelo yeah which is much more fruity refreshing makes sense yeah yeah I, it's my least favorite of the three because it's a little on the aquatic side. This one, side. the Lazuli? Yeah. Okay. But I, I like it still. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And so these have just come out this year. We will be looking to also add another perfume to this collection. Oh. Um, When's that happening? In the future, probably next year. Okay. In 2020. Okay. So, yeah, we haven't finalized everything on this one, but that's what we're working towards. So okay. probably at Essence. Cool announcement. We will have something nice. to show. Thank you. And because we'll be seeing you in Essence, right? We will be seeing you. Yes. I'll be there. Good. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, today is the first day of the show pretty much, right? And mm -hmm. then you have like a whole week, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're this here, is an exhausting week. We're here Monday to Friday. So it's a very busy week for us. To be honest, this is one of the, on the calendar for perfume, this is one of the biggest weeks of the year okay. for us. Seems like. Yes. And this is the first time I'm here and this is pretty awesome so far. Mm. I expect that you're going to have a good um, day of discovery. Yeah, I am. Anyway, thanks so much for doing the video with thank me. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, guys, Always a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, why don't you, so to participate in the giveaway for the three samples, uh, why don't you put down uh, in the comment section which of the three fragrances is your favorite and what you like about this video. And please, of course, put down your country as well to qualify. Make sure you're subscribed. The subscribe button is below. Other than that, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.